Today, I'm going to be talking about key bindings and why you should not be using the A key when kiting, but instead use the X key. Now, this is very much opinion based and preference towards me, but I think that honestly, if you learnt this and ingrained it into your brain and tried to replace the A key with the X key, then it would massively pay off for you in the long run as an ADC player or just a ranged player in general. If you don't know what attack moving is or what kiting is, I'm not going to be explaining that in this video. So please, I just recommend watching a pro guides video or a video that's already out there that explains more of the basics. This is specifically going into why the X key is the best key to use just logically. Okay, you guys are going to have to bear with me here because this is going to take teamwork between me and you, right? So I'm going to create a visual diagram that you guys will be able to create at home very, very easily and it involves your left hand. So we're going to be using the left hand to explain the logic that I have come to when figuring out why X is better than A. If you think about champions like Jinx and like Ezreal and like Vayne, the Q ability is the ability that you use the most often, especially during combat. So with Jinx, you may use your rockets and then switch to minigun if someone comes in closer range. With Vayne, you're going to use your tumble to try and dodge abilities or use your invisibility to chase down. And with Ezreal, you're going to be using your Q to auto weave. The Q ability is the most used ability during combat. My logic is, is that the Q ability is taken up by this finger here. The only other job this finger should have is the tab key. Okay, but it's not when you use a click when you use the a key this finger has quite a lot to do because it has to use your most often ability and your most often mechanic behind movement which is auto attacking. My logic is why on earth would you use the finger that you have the least individual control over to do the most work because if you're using the tab key then you're doing that out of combat you're not going to be using your Q ability and if you're doing it during combat then well, you're constantly going up and down, and this finger isn't so good at doing that. It isn't what it was made for, really. <laughs> when you use the X key, you're using your pointing finger. Now, this is the finger that you have the most individual control over. And the ability that you take up with this finger is your R key, your E key, your D key, and your F key. So, obviously, this is your ult, your flash, your other summoner spell, so heal, exhaust and your E ability. Now, when it comes to the E ability, you have, let's use the same three examples we used before. So Ezreal has his Arcane Shift, which has quite a long cooldown. Vayne has her Condemn, which is again, quite a long cooldown. And Jinx has her Chompers, and I think you can see the trend, quite a long cooldown. Now this isn't for every single champion, obviously I understand that, but for the most champions in the ADC role, the E is the is the ability that has the longest cooldown other than your ult. Now, your ult ability, although, yes, you're also compromising that, your ult is normally you press it and then it's gone. So again, Jinx is rocket, you press it once, it's gone. Now, your flash and your exhaust, again, you, you use those once and then they're on quite a long cooldown. My point is, is that this finger, your pointing finger, is able to do the most around your keyboard to individual keys. So giving this finger a lot of jobs, a lot of functions, is why I've came to the conclusion that the X key is the best. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, please just comment down below or ask me on my Discord or my Twitch and I will try to explain it in a different way. I, I will probably use the hand diagram, but I hope that makes sense. I'm going to go to my keyboard now and explain why the X key is the best one to use on the bottom row because you've obviously got a choice between the Z key, the X key, and the C key. Onto the keyboard now. If you guys, by the way, want to tell me about what key bindings you use and what reasons you have for using them, then again, comment down below or on Discord or on my Twitch if you want to chat about it. I've, I'm actually really, really interested in this, but this is what I think using what I've learned, and I think that honestly, it comes down to what key gives your pointing finger because yes obviously as established before it does have the most individual control but you don't want to put too much strain on it so obviously it's just a known fact if you're going to be moving up and down that is an easier thing for your finger to do than moving it diagonally and using this idea 
is why the X key is just the best one to use. As you can see here, I'm moving my finger down to press the X key. And since obviously my finger is a straight vertical, because that's how fingers work, it's very, very easy. But when I try to move it over to the C key, obviously you can see that I'm moving it diagonally down to the right, which means that I'm kind of doing that thing with my finger as we were talking about that you don't want to do diagonal movements. And then when I move it to the Z key, I'm actually crunching my finger and you can see like the, it's almost like a, an acute angle. And after a while, like, that's going to hurt if I'm doing that constantly, you know, with an ADC champion who's also attacking a lot. So, that's why with the, with the X key, it's just so much more comfortable. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. It's been amazing talking to you guys today. That is all from me, and I will catch you in a bit. Subscribe, like, and comment on the video about what key bindings you use, like I said, or if you've got any questions. Check out the Twitch and the Discord. Peace!